Here are four stretches you should be doing after every run. Our first stretch targets the quad and the hip flexor. There's a couple different ways we can do this. My preferred way is in a kneeling position with the back foot elevated. If this is too much of a stretch with the foot elevated, just have it resting on the floor. But from here, we're just going to lean forward, feeling a good stretch through the front of the hip and the thigh. The higher this step is, the more of a stretch you're gonna get through your quad. Okay? So we're just gonna lean forward. We can do reps back and forth, or we can simply hold at end range. If you wanna get more of the side of your hip, take that arm of the knee that is down and reach up and over, feeling more of a stretch through the side of your hip. The next stretch is gonna target a bit more of the upper body, but it is gonna hit some of the hips as well. We're gonna stay in that kneeling position. This stretch is called the world's greatest stretch. So you're gonna start here, put one hand down in plane with your foot, and then you're gonna rotate open, just like that. Come back down and making sure you can see on the other side here. One knee forward, hand in plane with your foot, and rotate open. If you want to get a bit more of a stretch through your hips, you can elevate the back knee and do the same thing. The third stretch we're going to do is for the inner thigh muscles or the adductor muscles. So from a hands and knees position, you're going to space your knees out as far as they can go comfortably. Make sure you keep your back nice and straight, and then you're going to rock backwards, try to bring your heels, or try to bring your butt to your heels, and you're going to feel a good stretch on the inner thighs. Come back, and rock back. The second part to this stretch is optional, but it really makes it a good stretch, is to kick the leg out to the side, keep this knee straight, and rock back. You're going to feel much more of a stretch through the inner thigh on that straight leg. And then switch and do the other side. And the fourth and final stretch that we're gonna go through is gonna hit the calves and the hamstrings. So we're gonna take a page out of yoga's playbook here and go into a down dog position. And from here, you're simply going to bicycle your heels towards the floor. So you're feeling a nice good stretch in the calves and maybe even up into the hamstrings as well. I hope you found those stretches helpful. If you're a runner and you're struggling with pain or injury or something that's preventing you from running to your full potential, we are here to help. We are runners, we love working with runners, and we're here to help you. Please visit us online at truemotiontherapy.com to learn more or to schedule an appointment.